Have you ever wondered how to rise above the noise of the world? How to find peace when people around you are filled with negative energy, constantly pulling you down with criticism, judgment, or unnecessary chatter? Gautama Buddha once said, He who is not disturbed by others, and who is free from malice and hatred, is a true warrior. But how do we become such a warrior, immune to the distractions and harm caused by others? The following story offers a path through the teachings of Zen and Buddhist wisdom on how to master the art of ignoring people, not by avoiding them physically, but by cultivating an inner stillness that shields you from their energy. 1. The Wandering Monk's Challenge Once, there was a wandering monk known for his deep wisdom and calm presence. He spent years in meditation, training his mind to transcend the worldly disturbances that most people face. One day, during his travels, the monk arrived at a bustling town. The town was famous for its unruly inhabitants, people who thrived on arguments, drama, and spreading negative energy. From the moment the monk set foot in the town, people started to provoke him. Some would hurl insults, others would mock his appearance or lifestyle. Yet, the monk remained undisturbed, continuing his silent journey through the streets. One of the townspeople, curious about the monk's calm demeanor, approached him. How can you walk through this town without being affected by our words? Do you not feel anger or pain when people insult you? The monk smiled and replied, if someone offers you a gift, but you do not accept it, to whom does the gift belong? The man was puzzled for a moment, then said, to the one who offered it, of course, exactly, said the monk. I do not accept the gifts of their insults, so they remain with those who offer them. This lesson teaches us the first step in ignoring people, the power of non-acceptance. Just because someone offers you their negativity does not mean you have to take it. In life, we often feel compelled to respond to others' negativity, thinking we must defend ourselves or prove something. But in truth, their words are meaningless unless we choose to let them in, too, the unseen burden of words. The monk's wisdom spread through the town, but there were still many who didn't understand how ignoring others could be possible. One day, a scholar, known for his sharp wit and quick temper, confronted the monk. You speak of not accepting insults, but words carry weight. How can you deny the power of words? They can hurt as much as physical pain, the monk invited the scholar to sit with him by a riverbank. Let me show you something, the monk said, he picked up a heavy stone and handed it to the scholar. Carry this stone for me as we walk along the river, the monk instructed. The scholar, eager to prove his strength, agreed, as they walked, the stone began to feel heavier. At first, the scholar bore it with ease, but after some time, his arm grew tired. His muscles ached and he became irritable. After an hour, the scholar finally stopped and said, I cannot carry this stone any longer. It is too heavy, the monk smiled and said, you can set it down anytime, just as you can set down the burden of someone's words. When you hold on to an insult, it is like carrying a stone, it only weighs you down the longer you cling to it. This simple act illustrated the second lesson, the weight of words only affects us if we choose to carry them. Words are like the stone. They have no power unless we give them power by holding on to them. To ignore people means to release the mental and emotional weight of their words. 3. The nature of reflection. Despite the monk's teachings, there was still resistance. Some people argued, but people's words do hurt us. When someone says something cruel, we feel it in our hearts. How can we ignore such things when they pierce so deeply? The monk decided to share another lesson with the townspeople. 
he brought them to a large, calm lake. The water was so still that it perfectly reflected the sky above. The monk then tossed a small stone into the water, creating ripples that distorted the reflection, you see how the stone creates ripples, he asked. When your mind is calm, it is like the still water, reflecting the world as it is. But when you let someone's words disturb you, it's like throwing a stone into the water. The calm is lost, and everything becomes distorted, he continued, the trick is to remain like the still water, undisturbed by the stones people throw. The reflection of their words only distorts your inner peace if you let it, this lesson revealed the third key to ignoring others, maintaining inner stillness. When we react to others' negativity, we are like the disturbed water, losing our clarity and peace. But if we cultivate a calm mind, no matter what stones people throw at us, we remain undisturbed. 4. The Power of Silence In time, the town began to change. More and more people sought out the monks' teachings, curious about how they could cultivate such peace in their own lives. But one man, who was known for his constant complaints and arguments, refused to accept the monk's wisdom. He confronted the monk, shouting insults and trying to provoke a response, the monk simply stood there in silence, offering no reaction. Frustrated, the man grew louder and more aggressive, but the monk remained still, his face serene, his lips sealed. Eventually, the man grew tired of his own shouting and left in defeat, later, one of the monk's followers asked, why did you not respond to him? Surely you could have taught him a lesson. The monk smiled gently and said, sometimes, the most powerful response is silence. When you choose not to engage with negativity, you take away its power, this exchange teaches us the fourth lesson, the power of silence. Engaging with negativity often fuels it. But when we respond with silence, we deny it the energy it needs to thrive. By remaining silent, we create a space of peace that cannot be penetrated by the chaos of others. 5. Detachment from Ego As the monk's time in the town came to an end, he gathered his followers one last time to impart a final teaching. Why is it that we struggle to ignore people, he asked, one follower replied, because their words hurt us. Another said, because we want to defend ourselves, the monk nodded and said, both answers are true, but they stem from the same source, ego. It is our attachment to the self, the need to be seen, understood, or validated, that causes us to react. When someone insults us, it is not the insult that hurts, but the blow to our sense of self. The more we cling to our ego, the more we feel the need to respond, he continued, to truly ignore others, we must let go of our ego. We must realize that what others say about us is a reflection of them, not us. Their words only have meaning if we believe in the illusion of self-importance. The monk's final teaching reveals the fifth and perhaps most profound lesson, detachment from ego. Ignoring people becomes easy when we release our need for validation, approval, or defense. The ego is the root of all suffering, and when we dissolve it, we become free from the opinions of others, the warrior of peace. As the monk left the town, he left behind a community transformed by his teachings. People learned that ignoring others was not about avoidance or indifference but about cultivating an inner peace that no one could disturb. They realized that the true path to freedom was not in controlling the external world but in mastering the internal, the monk's wisdom, rooted in Zen and Buddhist teachings, offered timeless principles for living a life free from the burden of others' words and actions. By practicing non-acceptance, letting go of the weight of words, maintaining inner stillness, embracing silence, 
and detaching from ego, one could become a warrior of peace, unshaken by the storms of life. In the end, the town realized that ignoring people was not an act of rejection but an act of love for oneself. It was the highest form of self-respect, allowing one to remain true to their own path, undisturbed by the noise of the world, and so, the monk's teachings spread far and wide, guiding others to find peace in the midst of chaos, and to master the art of ignoring people with grace and wisdom. As Buddha once said, you will not be punished for your anger, but by your anger. By ignoring the negativity of others, we free ourselves from the chains of suffering and walk the path of inner peace. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.